Okay. And your, your name is Zora? Okay. Your name uh, is. Well, that, that's kind of something I would I wanted to discuss uh, with somebody like yourself. Okay. Uh, because you know the I'm very very kind of confused about you know you know the the whole the way that I would channel the way that energy comes to me I I just uh you know I I need uh pretty much help kind of trying to figure it all out so um I did I've had many dreams since I was younger of a person who I didn't know who they were until I got older and into psychology okay and when I did I found um that the person I had been dreaming about was Serene Kierkegaard. Oh, okay. That's where you get the name from. Okay. Yeah. Right. So he was a, a father of early existential, uh, you know, debate, thought, or of, um, you know, an early writer, if you would. So you think you're reading? Uh, I think it's uh, an interesting thought. Okay. So why don't we? That just, I'd like to. So, so why don't we just hold on for a minute? Uh, one of the things that I try to prevent in the session is something called leaving the witness. So I want to make sure you don't give me too much information to, okay. to, to silo what, 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 what's going to happen. So I'm just going to connect to you. And I got some energy flowing now. And let's just see what, let's just see. So, and this is interactive. My eyes are going to be closed. Um, and I'll, I'm just going to be like a baseball announcer. I'm going to tell you everything I see and let's just go from there, okay? So let me get into our okay. interview. So it's like there's something inside of you that is just dying to get out of you. And when I say out of you, I don't mean it's trying to escape. It's just trying to emerge. All right. And it, it's almost painful, almost agony. Like it's just, ur, ur, let me, let me out, let me out. And, um, and, and again, I don't mean that's a bad thing. Okay, it's not like it's a dark energy or anything. Yeah. There's just another I, aspect. I, I wanted, I wanted to uh, uh, clarify that that on your on your behalf, that was the most accurate. That it, it it does seem, for me at least, to stem from uh, some sort of an anger or, or an agony, and it's hard to persuade. Let me uh, let me dive into this a little further. Yes, yes, yes. There's another personality that's inside of you that is trying to, to emerge from you, but you're trying to hold on to who you are and you're afraid of what this is because you don't know what this is. It's almost as if you have a split personality or you may label yourself as a psychological disorder. I, I feel that. Yeah. Okay. There's some. Um, Let me ask some questions. I'm just, I'm just sitting here. This rocking is the energy going through me. So just bear with me, okay? Please tell me what I need to know about the situation. So they show you your physical vessel. Now I'm looking at your light body. So I want you to imagine, I'm, they show your light body kind of being ripped open in a very gentle, positive way. And this being stepping out of it who's incredibly loving and friendly and 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 just what was just inside of you that wants to step out of you and it's smaller than you it's shorter than you it, it just looks like a funny little et all right but it it it, it, it definitely wants to step out um and, and and take its place um so it's like your light body and then the things inside of you um it's almost as if your light body is a a a suit for it this is the way I'm seeing it. All right. Let me know what we need to. Okay, so that helps him a little bit. Let me understand what we need to know about this. So I see this 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 little ET. And when I say little ET, spirit just shows me things where they show me things. Don't ask me the uh, the brand, the species, or anything like that right now. But I see him going up to a, a, a whiteboard, and he's writing formulas. He's just writing formulas. Just, just, it reminds me of, um, what the hell's the name of the, uh, the Bugs Bunny and the space, the space little space guy. He's super, super yeah. smart. He's just yeah. doing stuff. So I, 
that's funny that you said that. He he does remind me of Marsh and the Mar- Martin the Marsh. Oh, yeah. And, and, yeah. And that's I can't. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how how to let him flow. Okay. Well, great questions. Great questions. So, but you know, we're already on track, right? So that's good. Yes. I'm going to help you with this. Woo. Let me ask how I need to help you with this. Let me call the ship in. Um, bear with me. I'm trying to get my bearings on what, what we need to do here, okay? Absolutely. This is going to be fun. So, um, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Let me just drop into my heart and shut up for a second. I have a bunch of stuff I can do. I mean, it's like I, I have a menu crazy long and I'm just kind of running through it, trying to understand what makes sense at this moment in time. And I'm asking them questions and just give me some responses, okay? Um, okay. But I'm not getting clear, clear information. I'm not asking good questions is the issue. I'm trying to ask better questions. All right, so what they're saying right now is, and I'm just, I'm just going to, sh- I don't know what we're doing. I'm just telling you what's going on. They said you need to clear your heart because you're confused. Um, and and there's, yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of trouble there like that, that you're bringing on to yourself um, emotionally. Um, okay. Let me just try something here. I just want you to kind of sit back, relax, just kind of close your eyes and just kind of, you know, get comfortable, okay? You don't have to lay down or anything and you don't have to do anything crazy. Just want you to be comfortable and, and relax, okay? Okay. And make sure you can still hear me. All right, that was like the longest white language I've done in a very, very long time. And my hands have never really moved that much ever. And they're still actually moving. And I'm just curious, did you have any sensations, feelings, thoughts on your side? Yeah, I felt um, a, a bit of a, a, um, a, a relief from that message. And it, and it, it filled my cavity, if you will. Um, yeah. yeah, that was from, all in your heart. In your heart and, and your soul. In, in terms of releasing and allowing, all right? So 
why my hands just still moving? My hands just just still doing this thing. All right, all right, all right. It's just okay. Let's see what else we're doing. Hold on. So I, I actually channeled um, another activation that I can do this morning, this fucking this morning. That, that's fantastic. It's so crazy. But I'm, I'm asking them how to actually use it on you. So give me a moment. I need to look something up real quick. Um, because they gave me the name of it and I forgot the spelling of it. It'll take me 10 seconds. Um, no worries. Sistoa, the name Sistoa, clear plasma lightning. Okay, so hold on. I just want you to kind of uh, go to this visualization with me real quick. I'm gonna pin this up here. Drop into your heart. Okay, we've got the ship over us. I'm gonna ask the ship. I want you to visualize a clear liquid plasma. This clear liquid plasma is from a planet called Sistoa. Don't worry about where it's at. You haven't heard of it before. I want you to visualize this clear liquid plasma. Just, it's clear liquid plasma, but there's lightning inside of it. This lightning is slow. It's not the lightning that we're familiar with. It, it has the same shape and it's inside of the liquid plasma, but it's very, very slow. You can see it moving and creating these fingers of energy. Let me know when you get that visualization, please. Nice I see that. Okay. So we're gonna bring it down. Just relax, we're gonna bring it through your crown. It's right above your head. Just tap in your crown. It's coming down. It's about an inch into your crown. And it's beginning to fill up the, the cavity in the head. Nice and slow. We're not going to rush this. Nice and slow. It's, it's, it's liquid, but it's like the consistency of paint. OK, if we're not a little thicker. OK, it's about. It's just kind of bumping down in there and around in there about halfway through the cranium. I'm gonna let it fill the cranium up. And then we're gonna zoom in on it and see what it's doing. It's about 60% full from the top. It's filling from the top to the bottom, about 60% full. 80% full. And it's 100% full down to just below your chin. All right, and it's, it's basically the cavity of the brain. Now I want to, because I haven't used this before, I'm going to just look at what is going on here. It's activating dormant brain cells, dormant brain areas. It's connecting those areas, not only to the consciousness, but to the rest of your synapses, the rest of your brain, the rest of you. That was just channeled for you. And just allow this to happen. And look at me, look at me, look at me, show me, show me, show me. It's like the, the lightning is, is moving around as if it was arms and fingers, and it's just pulling your synapses, it's pulling different parts of your brain and connecting these pieces that didn't have connections before. It's like it's rewiring not only you, but it's rewiring.